you know, and I'll tell you, you know, we can, we can look at all the different cases, but that gets back to the bigger issue, and that is the good guy with the gun theory is not working out too well. Didn't work out in Parkland. We know what happened in Uvalde, and that was good guys and girls, with, a lot of them, with guns. And we know what happened to the, the hero in Buffalo, New York, who was a former police officer, a security guard at that shopping market, and he had a revolver. And he was up against, like most of our mass shooters now, fully body armored, military style assault weapon against security guards in the market with a, with a six shot revolver. And, and, you know, when I talk about that, I talk about, you know, the police officer want to go home that night. Think about having dinner, maybe catching my kids' basketball game. I'm not sure, is it? That's it. It's the last day they're going to be there, uh, unless they're caught. So I, I think when we think about these theories, the good guy with the gun, that aren't the teachers, you know, it's, we've got to deal with some reality now. And again, so they, all these folks are accountable in this machine, if you will. Uh, but again, I go back to the bigger problem, which is we need federal action. Max, I want you to talk.